direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access. It's Foxborough Central, and here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another fantastic episode of Foxborough Central. I am Bob Hickey, your host, and I want to thank you for taking the time to join with me and my guests as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough truly the gem of Norfolk County. Now, as we go through life, we see certain challenges, we meet certain obstacles, and we overcome or we know people who do and do great work on our behalf. Uh, this is one of those times where there's an event that we all know about, the Pan Mass Challenge, the PMC, and it happens every year, but what do we really know about it? And for those of us who uh, you know, wanna learn more, how do we support it? So, very glad to introduce you to a friend of mine, Chris Leonard. Chris, thank you so much for being here on Foxborough Central. Thanks for having me. Uh, and uh, let's be clear, you are not a professional bike rider. You don't do this for a living. You're not doing not the close. Tour de Trump and the Tour de France <laughs> and all that, right? Not even close. But you've been doing this for, what, 16 years now? This will be my 16th, yeah. Okay, so the Pan Mass Challenge. Start at the top, what is the Pan Mass Challenge? Pan Mass is a uh, charity bike ride uh, that's been going on for a long time. Um, so I think it started in 1981, and it's a 192-mile uh, bike ride from Sturbridge to P-Town, as well as uh, several other courses that kind of range in uh, distance and hill range. Okay. So you can do from 192 miles, or you can do as short as 25 miles. Okay, I didn't know that. So that's interesting, because we do see the signs here in Foxborough, um, and the route does go through Foxborough. Uh, is that the main route, or? So the main route doesn't. The closest we come um, is actually Rentham Cherry Street, would probably be the closest point okay. that I will come down. Um, but so then the route that we see off of uh, West Street and down in South Foxborough, that part is one of these so that, side routes. Yes. So. There's a loop For those of us who are just bored and you know, <laughs> want to take a little side trip, we just do this. Exactly. So the route that comes into um, Foxborough is there's a course from Wellesley College to the stadium and then back. So that's a 50 mile loop. Um, and that started probably about four or five years ago. Okay. So the Pay Mass Challenge is not actually one bike no. race, it's a series of them, but it's all on the same weekend. Correct. And coming up this year in 2019, that will be August 3rd and 4th. Correct. That's Saturday and Sunday. Yep. So which route, do you go from Sturbridge to Provincetown? I do. You do the whole I thing. Do the classic you do the full one. Monty. I do. You if I'm going to go do and it, have at it. Go and go big. Go and go big. Now, uh, I first got to know Chris uh, Leonard and, and his uh, beautiful wife, Becca. They came and his family. Uh, they were raising money, and they uh, had won a, a birthday party, I believe it was, uh, and they um, they uh, parlayed that <laughs> into a concert. Uh, it was very successful. It was a lot yep. of fun. Uh, it was a good night of music, good night of friends. It rained a little bit, but uh, yeah. other than that, uh, so it's not just you know passing a hat and, and your friends signing up. You're doing some serious fundraising here now. Tell me how much is it that's expected to be raised by each rider? So the minimum for the course that I'm doing is five thousand dollars. Wow. Um, so my goal this year is to hit eight thousand. Um, I ride on the Bruins team, and I've been riding with them for the past six years. Um, and it's just something that you know they reached out to us and said that you know we'd like to kind of push the ante to kind mm -hmm. of incentivize our riders to kind of at least hit an eight thousand dollar donation. Okay. Interesting. So, and I do follow you on, on the Facebook, and you should also follow uh, Chris Leonard on Facebook. He has a, um, a crowd rise, uh, essentially it's a GoFundMe page, and it's crowd rise. Uh, and if you Google Chris Leonard PMC on crowd rise, then you'll be able to find it. If you click on that, you can contribute any amount of money, uh, and it's all gratefully accepted because you are in this to raise money for. Right. Uh, what does Pan Mass Challenge raise money for? It's for the Jimmy Fund. Okay, very worthy cause and something's you know near and dear to most New Englanders' hearts. And uh, the Bruins Foundation is the team that you run that you ride for. Yes, the Bruins. Good old just Boston Bruins. The, the Bruins. You just you just pick it, up your bike and you're riding for the Bruins. Yeah, it's, it kind of happened coincidentally uh, years ago. Isn't that funny? Um, I, I love good it, stories. Yeah, I actually ran into somebody. 
uh, friends of mine were riding on the team and I ran into someone on the course that I hadn't seen in about 20 years that was riding with him. And he, as I was passing him, he yelled out my name and, <laughs> and I just looked at him and he was like, you have no idea who I am, do you? And I was like, uh, nope. And he said it and it was like a flashback. And uh, so when I had reached out to him to see he was riding, he said, well, why don't you just jump on our team? Mm. And six years later, still going strong. And, now, how uh, many people are on the team? Uh, I believe we're around 40. I don't have the exact number really? for this year. So you're raising some significant change. Yeah, last year we raised just under $500,000 just for our team. That's amazing. Yeah, wow, so that was pretty what an exciting. accomplishment. That's great. Yeah. So, and I know that I saw on the pictures at one point you were down at TD Garden. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us about that. So every year, usually around October, um, we do a check presentation. So what they do is they, the Bruins give us one of their suites. And so we're their guests for the night. And um, between the uh, first and second period, we go down and they bring us out into the team box for a photo and we present the check in mm -hmm. front of the whole garden. Wow. Um, you know, and it's up on the Jumbotron and you know, it's funny cause you can see the different people who understand what it is. Mm -hmm. But just by the looks on people's faces when you're sitting there in the box. And, um, you know, and others, you can tell they have no idea what it right, is, but you right. can tell the people who know whether they were affected by cancer directly or if it was a family member or something like that. But you can see the look, you can tell. That's fantastic. So, uh, speaking with Chris Leonard, who needs your support, he and his uh, merry band of uh, any females in this team? There is. Okay. Um, it's, so I won't call you Mary Brenner Brothers, I'll call yeah, you Mary no, Brenner of uh, hockey enthusiasts and <laughs> PMC uh, supporters. Yeah. So there's, I think there's about six or eight women, um, majority of it is men. Okay. Uh, but if you look at the stats of the PMC, it's probably straight down the road, 50-50 okay. between men and women. So support the Jimmy Fund, support the uh, cause of the Pan Mass Challenge, and support Chris Leonard and the Bruins Foundation. His team is raising a lot of money. He needs to come up with aid himself, but their goal overall uh, is to meet or beat last year's goal in almost a half million dollars. That's that an was, amazing amount of money. Yeah. And that was for our team. The PMC's goal this year, um, I believe, is $60 million. Wow. You know what? But it's for an important cause, and the cancer research can't happen fast enough. No. There are great strides being made, but at the same time, it's such a uh, terrifying disease because it's, it strikes everybody uh, yeah. without rhyme or reason sometimes. It and doesn't it just care. happens. And it's affected all of us. So thank you Correct. for all that you're doing for it. And thank you for uh, listening to the program and also for hopefully supporting Chris. Chris Leonard uh, here in Foxborough, he and his wife Becca, they do so much. Uh, we have a lot of fun with them, but uh, this is a serious issue and it's one where he's having fun doing it. So Pan and Mass Challenge is on August 3rd and 4th. Between now and then, why not help him out? Go to Google, you can hit the CrowdRise funding on the GoFundMe page with Chris Leonard PMC. Uh, he's been doing this for 16 years and hopefully he'll be doing it for a few more, but let's help him reach his goal this year. With your help, I'm sure he can. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Anything else you wanna tell me? No, I think that's it. All right, support cancer research. Support you. Thank you. Support everybody. All right. And thank you for uh, being here on Foxborough Central. If you miss any part of this program, you can always check it out again on this, your favorite Comcast or Verizon government channel, or you can look us up at www.fcatv.org. It's on the beautiful mug, can't miss it. Or you can follow us on our Facebook page, which is on, um, well, it's on Facebook, right? And also on YouTube, we have a YouTube channel. All of our programs are out there. If you miss this or any other ones, Check us out, be a subscriber, be a friend. On behalf of everybody here at Foxborough Cable Access, I wanna thank my volunteers tonight, Liam Kahn's uh, behind the camera, Paul Beck behind the glass, who puts all of this together for you each and every time. On behalf of all of us, I hope you have a wonderful day, Foxborough, take care.